Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU regulators investigate Spanish aid for Ford. UK does not need EU or vice versa. Problem entirely in Cameron's head. EU pollution scheme faces more trouble. Plus, budget for implementation of Eurojust approved. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First, from our homepage, EU antitrust regulators will investigate whether a €25.2 million Euro grant given by Spanish authorities to US car maker Ford Motor Co's van facility in Valencia breached EU state aid rules. Ford plans to produce a new model of the Ford Transit Connect in Valencia, with the cost of the project estimated at some €419.9 million, Euros. Spain informed the European Commission of its grant last year. Not the first time Ford has been in the spotlight for interesting EU commercial relationships. Last year we had the UK's chief press officer for Ford on the phone over production of their new transit vans. In discussing the pros and cons of Britain's membership of the EU, the most important point to remember is this. The terms of an exit are freely negotiable. This means that the economic consequences will depend to a large extent on those exit terms. In his article from the Times, Lord Lawson, a former UK Chancellor, argued that the regulatory costs of the single market for the British economy exceed the economic costs of an exit. As a consequence, he favours an exit. Is this analysis correct? Does the conclusion logically follow? This article investigates. EU greenhouse gas emissions blamed for global warming dropped slightly last year but the much vaunted system for cutting such pollution ran into even more trouble, the European Commission said on Thursday. It said that total carbon dioxide output from industrial installations covered by the EU's emissions trading system was down 2% in 2012, reflecting the economic slowdown. At the same time, a massive surplus of ETS pollution credits was building up, depressing the prices. <laughs> You've got to hand it to the kleptocrats for their creativity when it comes to running a racket. Introduce a job lot of regulation over carbon dioxide production, then slap a commercial tax on it and sell tokens to folks granting them back the rights to produce it. To do all this on at best flaky evidence, well, even Al Capone would be impressed. Eurojust was established in 2002 to improve the coordination of investigations and prosecutions among the competent judicial authorities of the European Union member states when they deal with serious cross-border and organised crime. The budget of Eurojust for 2011 was €31.35 million. Euros. This represents a decrease of 2.91% compared to 2010. The blame for the outrun account for Eurojust in 2011 was positive, totalling €2.5 million. Euros. The Court of Auditors stated that it has obtained reasonable assurances that the annual accounts of Eurojust for the financial year 2011 are reliable and that the underlying transactions are legal and regular. Therefore, the members approved the closure of Eurojust's accounts. Well, nice to see that the Court of Auditors is reasonably persuaded that European Justice Ministry isn't cooking the books, which is more than can be said for the Commission as a whole. Today in our video library, the UK column published this deeply concerning piece relating to banking policy drawn up by the Bank of International Settlements, which includes a proposal for a global policy on the controversial bail-in, the mechanism used in Cyprus to confiscate savers' deposits. This policy now means that the same measures can be applied to UK savers. Also. The column investigates the disappearance of Ben Fellows, a key witness in the high-profile Savile paedophile ring investigation. This really is an eye-opening must-watch. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.
You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google Plus, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google Plus. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>